Hi, welcome to another stage of Microsoft Word. So today we're going to be talking about some essential hacks and tricks in Microsoft Word. So without waste of time, let's get started. All right, so we are going to be starting with how we can actually capitalize our sentences in a document. So how do we do that? We just highlight first. So I'm going to highlight all of this and then I click on Shift F3. If Shift F3 doesn't work in your computer or your laptop, you can actually try Shift FN F3. So I'm going to be using Shift FN and F3. Now, this is how mine works. By some other systems, the laptop might actually be Shift F3. Let's see how we can actually insert a table. Now, if we are to insert a table, we just simply go to the insert there. All right, you click on insert, then this is the table. Then we can select, let's say we want four by two. Good, all right, now we've just inserted the table. Now, I'm going to show you another trick on how to insert a table. So I'm just going to come down here. So I'll be using the plus, the minus, then the plus, minus, the plus, the minus, the plus. So after doing this, I just hit the enter on my keyboard and this is it. So this is the trick on how you can actually create a table in Microsoft Word. Let's see how we can actually insert lines in our Word. So I'm just going to have a random text here. All right, so now let's say I want to have a line here that separates this paragraph from this. So I'm just going to come down there and I'll click on the minus three times one, two, and three. Hit enter, and this is it. So let's say I need double lines. Okay, I'm just going to use the ash three times. Okay. Now this is it. So how about broken lines? I use the star three times and this is it. So this is how you can actually insert lines in your document. This is the trick. So now let's see how we can actually use the control key to move to the next or each word we want to be on. So just hold your control and click hold your control i'll click here hold my control and i move my arrow key side move it move it sideward then if i want to go to the previous word i just take it back click on the control and click on the back key the arrow key the one facing back so you just keep clicking goes back and click on the one facing front which is going forward click on it so that is how you can use the control and the arrow keys. So still working with the keys, how can we actually delete each word? You just hold your control. Okay, I'll just come here now. Hold your control and click on backspace. It deletes each word at a time. It deletes each word at a time. All right. So if you actually want to go to the end of your, your document, you can just hold your control and FN, then click on the end key which is it's among the arrow keys there you see the end you click on it it goes straight to the end but when you click on control and fn click on home it goes to the beginning of your document all right so let's see how we can convert our numbers to words so i'm going to be having this 345 so i'm going to see let's see how we can now convert it to words so i'm just going to come down here let me put it here so we can see it okay so i'm going to click on ctrl fn and f9 why some of you could just click on ctrl f9 oh sorry i need to highlight it first almost forgot that highlight it ctrl fn f9 all right then i insert the equal to okay so i'm just going to come here now put in the forward slash 
then the hash tag on top then insert a text as card text all right so when you're done you right click and update field now this is it 345 so you can do it for so many other numbers so you can keep trying this all right so let's see how we can work with some formulas here in this table all right so we are going to find the total for this and we're going to find the average for this so now beginning with this come here you click you go to your layout this is your layout then you go to formula this is formula right here you click on it and this is the formula and it's at sum just click ok and it will sum up all of this so how to get the average for this click do the same thing by coming to your formula they come here now instead of the sum we're going to go for the average so we're just going to remove all of this we're left with the equal to then you come to paste function and select the average click on average and then inside there you type above so you need the average of the above numbers so you just click ok and this is the average for all of this so that is how you can actually get the formulas all right so let's see how we can actually create a random text i did that earlier so we're going to be doing that now so you call to rand then open the bracket number of paragraphs and number of lines close it and hit the enter and this is it i did three paragraph and four lines so that is how you can create a random text so let me show you another way of creating a random text equal to rhyme open four five close and hit enter so this is how you can create another one so those are the ways of creating a random text all right so let's now see how we can copy and paste so many things at the same time okay so i'm going to highlight this i'll click on the copy to copy this now when i clicked on this this is it right here so i can actually paste it from here okay let me close it and open it again all right i'm also going to copy this Control c is to copy then i come here the extension i click on it and this is it now these are what i have copied so if i want to paste all of it again simply just come down and click on paste all so i can paste it so many times as i want it so you can copy so many things and also paste all of them at the same time all right so finally let's see how we can make use of our format painter now with the format painter you can copy the formats here and we are going to be using it on the youtube so how do we do that we get this selected first i'm just going to put my cursor here click on the format painter now it has copied this format now how do you need to copy it when you just hover on the text it will be like this having a cursor and some kind of a brush then you just highlight it and leave it now this is it we just copied the format so that is how you can copy the format painter then if you want to actually remove it because maybe when we're trying to type some other stuff we come down and maybe start typing and this is it it just continues the same way we can just remove it by highlighting it and come here to clear all formats we click on it and it's gone so you can do the same thing here highlight it click on clear format and it's gone so this is where we're going to be ending today concerning the essential hacks and tricks in microsoft word so see you guys next time and stay safe